Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. Cowboy Roundup, Mike Zimmer Expectations, Best NFC East Coaching Staff. Let's take a look at some of the Dallas Cowboys news and headlines making the rounds in Cowboys Nation as we wrap up the final week of June. Will Mike Zimmer's defense excel? The Dallas Cowboys enter the season with new defensive coordinator Mike Zimmer and some fresh faces littered throughout the lineup. But how will they perform? Mika Kimes thinks there's no reason to be concerned. Cowboys begin 2024 run with the NFC East's best coaching staff. There are plenty of questions surrounding the Cowboys entering the 2024 season, but one strong strength is the coaching staff. According to InsideTheStar.com, the Cowboys' coaching staff is the NFC East's best. McCarthy has the added pressure of going into the season in the final year of his contract. Even another season of double-digit wins likely wouldn't save him if it ends the same way the last three seasons have, Richard Paulinelli writes. Schottenheimer is the offensive coordinator. But McCarthy calls the plays, so how much of the team's 2024 success or failure can be laid at his feet is unclear. The Cowboys lost Quinn to a division rival and reached back to the past for his replacement. Zimmer will be prowling the sidelines, unlike Quinn's preference to remain up in the coaching box. How that change, with Zimmer's immediate presence, impacts the defense is the question. Personally, I think it will help. Zimmer has a solid record as a defensive coordinator. If anyone can get the defense to show up week in and week out, and especially in the playoffs, it's Zimmer. Cowboys still being pushed to kick the tires on veteran RBs like Dalvin Cook. With Tony Pollard heading to the Tennessee Titans, the Dallas Cowboys were surely going to draft a running back in 2024, right? Despite the position being a major need on the roster, the Cowboys didn't pick one up until the undrafted free agent wave, Nathaniel Pete. So, Dallas will rely on several runners in 2024, led by Ezekiel Elliott and Rico Dowdle. The Cowboys, much to the dismay of the fan base, aren't big spenders in free agency. However, there are still veteran runners on the market that could be had for cheap. Dallas should consider a cash-friendly veteran option. And one name that keeps popping up is Dalvin Cook. Dallas is currently eyeing a committee centered around Elliott, Rico Dowdle, Freeman, and Deuce Vaughn. Adding another back to the mix would be sensible, because if the offense doesn't have balance, Prescott is going to face a lot of pressure. It would behoove the Cowboys to at least kick the tires on Dalvin Cook. The four-time Pro Bowler appeared to lose a step in 2022 and struggled to get on the field in 2023. However, as Cook noted earlier this offseason, his lack of use last season has made him a well-rested option. I didn't really get no reps last year. So, the legs are fresh, so the resume speaks for itself. I'm still Dalvin Cook. I'm still that guy, Cook told Aaron Wilson of Houston's KPRC2. Naturally, the Cowboys won't be inclined to spend a lot on a flyer signing. While Cook joined the New York Jets on a one-year $7 million deal last offseason, though, his contract demands should be much lower in 2024. Cook could be open to a team-friendly, incentive-laden deal if it provides the opportunity to re-establish his value. Cook may not be willing to play for the league minimum, them, but a one-year deal in the $2 minus $3 million range might be enough. The Cowboys are known for giving one-year, low-risk type of deals. So, if that's the going rate for Cook, that's on board with their philosophy. This isn't a knock to Elliott, who still has a little something in the tank, and Dowdle has shown some flashes here and there. That being said, Elliott is coming off career lows in rushing yards and yards per attempt, and Dowdle has had injury issues. The Cowboys did sign veteran Royce Freeman, and his experience and skills could add something to the roster. Deuce Vaughn, Hunter Lupke, Malik Davis, Snoop Connor, and the aforementioned Pete round out the room, which leaves much to be desired. Cook only had 67 carries for 214 yards last season for the New York Jets, and that was because Brees Hall garnered the lion's share of the snaps. After parting ways with the Jets, Cook signed with the Baltimore Ravens for the playoffs, but he only gained 23 yards on eight carries. Dallas had some interest in Cook back in January, and he was linked to them in March when free agency kicked off. If the Cowboys do inquire about Cook, it will likely be during training camp. Cowboys WR Jalen Tolbert on track for starting role. 
CeeDee Lamb and Brandon Cooks are safely set top the receiver depth chart for the Cowboys, but the absence of Michael Gallup has created a vacancy for the number three role in 2024. A clear candidate is in place to occupy it. John Makoda of The Athletic confirms Jalen Tolbert is the front runner to serve as Dallas' other starting wideout. Subscription required. The 2022 third rounder had a sparse offensive role as a rookie, logging just 89 snaps. Last year, though, his offensive snap share rose to 40%. Tolbert scored a pair of touchdowns while averaging 12.2 yards per catch in his rotational role. Of course, this update comes as little surprise. Dallas' decision to move on from Gallup in a cost-shedding move was not followed up by a veteran addition. As a result, Tolbert was firmly among the team's younger pass catchers in line to see an uptick in usage. The 25-year-old's performance in training camp will be worth monitoring as he looks to cement a first-team role. Lim's uncertain contract status has been a central storyline for the Cowboys this offseason, and little progress has been made in negotiations. The All-Pro could very well hold out during training camp if no extension agreement is reached in the coming weeks, a move which would fall in line with his ODA and mini-camp absences, missing regular season time, something which would obviously not be guaranteed by a training camp holdout, would be critical for the Cowboys given Lamb's franchise record-breaking performance in 2023, regardless of if Lamb is present during camp, Cooks will operate in another starting spot. The latter had a strong debut season in Dallas, 657 yards, 8 touchdowns, as a complementary option, a role which he will maintain in 2024. Expectations will be high for Tolbert presuming he does get the nod for first-team duties this year. And his ability to handle an increase in targets could be an important factor in determining Dallas' offensive success. Failing that, other options for a larger role include the likes of Kevonte Turpin, Racy McMath, Ryan Florinoy, and Jalen Brooks. Analyst believes divisional rival could steal Dak Prescott from Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys fans grow more concerned by the day as quarterback Dak Prescott remains unsigned past the upcoming season. What most expect to be a staggering financial deal? Who would step up and want him under center? NFL insider Craig Carton believes Prescott would not go far if he hits free agency and could land with the Cowboys' hated NFC East division rival, the New York Giants. Former Giants star wide receiver Plaxico Burris told Carton he is uncertain of this take and believes that Miami would be in line for Prescott's services before the G-Men. And the Giants gave Daniel Jones a somewhat surprising four-year contract. So why would they be in the market for Prescott if he walks away from Dallas? One glaring issue facing team management in New York is Jones' injury history, as he only played in six games last year and has had multiple neck ailments and a torn ACL. The Giants also passed on selecting a quarterback in April's draft, meaning that if Jones falters, the future leader of the team is likely not listed on the current roster. Dallas, of course, could erase all speculation if it were to step up and ink Prescott to the deal he wants. But that contract gets more expensive by the day, and management had to be shocked when Jacksonville recently signed Trevor Lawrence to a $275 million extension. The cost of keeping Prescott rises by the hour, and the day of reckoning is coming for Dallas.